Hello there. You may be familiar with Stable Diffusion Automatic 11 or ComfyUI or other ones packages of Stable Diffusion you can run on your machine. But in this video, I want to look on about 11 or even 12 if we are account built-in interface, different packages with plus minuses of each of them, how they perform, and just put it hands on and see what we can do. I'm using stability matrix to access all of these packages. You can go inside package, click on package, add and install it. I will have a full video how to use it stable matrix down below in a link. You can watch how to install stability matrix on your computer and how to configure and run. Overall, it's very simple. All what you need to do, just in case you don't want to watch a longer video, click add package, select package you want it. Notice some of the packages, they will run also on a Mac, some on the Linux, but almost all of them will run on NVIDIA. And majority of them, I think is with exception, only one of them won't run on CPU. After you install or, or just one package you like it, you'll notice right here we are available and you can go ahead and launch execute. But before you do this, you can always go to the additional checkpoints, see which one you have installed already, like control net, LORES, if you have additional just stable diffusions or V. And if you need it more, you can always go to model browsers, type here and search for all party um, available. And it's coming from Civit AI. So if I just click on the uh, search all of this. It's showing for me based on the highest rating popularity per month. And of course, you can play around with different models. Notice this all models will install in a like centralized folder inside our place. Let me show you right here. There are a couple things only just keep it in mind. It will install um, by default, not in models. It will copy, but it will create a link inside your packages, automatic models, it will create shortcut here. And I find out shortcut in some wasn't working properly. So almost need a copy or other things. I still work around this. It's maybe issue was with a read write access experimental, but just let you know, watch out for this, at least in my case, that was problem, but it's still mostly install all of them just in one place. After you're done with this, we're going to our packages we'll go to launch and we'll start with first as the next web UI. Let's go click launch. When you click launch, you'll notice it's open interface where we can follow and see all steps. It's taking pre launching what module or extension was loaded. The one minus of using this in like one central place, it is you can launch only one interface at a time. If you install manually on your computer, you can launch multiple and they can share, have a different access to the ports here. It seems like port is shareable. So when you learn around one application, one interface, and if you try to launch second at this time, it's come and says package already running. So you need stop first before you launch any other one. And after done, you can click open and it will preloading just our interface. Let's look on the what we have it here. And this again, that if we look at the package, this is our SD next web UI, which is resemble quite a bit familiar automatic 11 to some extent. Overall notice we have the base models on the top where you can select from which one you download it. Next below we have our usual text, prompt text to image negative prompt as well with height available our seeds info, we can expand it by clicking, you can always access to all this additional information, um, generate, put it in a queue, which is kind of nice, you can stack with other ones, rest is will be very similar what we have it image to image, we have it ours also process the badge for the single or other images, train models, if you want to train your own, and also work with the models by like convert them, merge together, all this stuff, validation. Um, notice you also can work with models directly from Hugging Face as Civit AI built in, which is kind of very nice. And different from other ones, you have it more interrogation on the images. So you can analyze image and it can you work with different interrogator as well. And seems like this specific UI is work quite a bit with the scheduling. 
So if you process lots of images or badges, you can actually work very well with the schedule when it can work. Of course, you have it, your built-in image browser on what you're creating. System acts uh, similar to other ones. We have it, your settings, interface, logs, license, all additional information, including your system information, query start, and your extension where you can load it, update it, and work with all additional extensions. This so because it's very straightforward, very nice. They have things where I don't like it. It is on the bottom right here. We have it, our information, which is very hard to read. I wish it was little bit bigger font or easy to read but of course you can always come back to your um, launch point and view right here if anything does not work properly so you can debug that way okay when we're done we're going ahead click stop and now it's a exit with our interruption code we're ready to work with another one comfy ui let's go ahead and launch this one okay and right here we're running notice it's run actually on a different port as we configure. So let's go ahead, open this interface. And of course, this is totally animal of its own. This is my previous, what I was working with animations and comfy UI. So I still have it my old configuration, but it is work with the nodes, which is kind of very nice. Look totally different. This is what I like about comfy UI. You can actually work a little bit more nailed down how the tree flow, how work on this. And it's for a reason it's become very popular. Overall here is um, we won't go too much in Comfy UI. If you again want to watch additional video, for example, how to make animations and everything, link also will be down below how to work with the Comfy UI. Okay, let's go ahead next. We'll go back right here and again, stop in this case, go to our packages and our next will be Stable Diffusion Web UI. This is probably one of the most familiar to you if you previously worked with Automatic 11, 11 installation. And right here we have our Stable Diffusion opening. It is very, very familiar with what we have it before. So we have our models that we can go ahead and preload if we need it. We have our text to text, text to image. If you work ever with Automatic 11.11, it's what it is. It's very straightforward and it's become almost like classic, which other ones start kind of using with some exceptions like Comfy UI. Okay, so we have a text to image, image to image. We have an additional extra batch processing, upscaling and other things you will perform here as well. Information on the images where you can perform somewhat not total interrogation. Interrogations actually build inside. So if you put it image to image, you can interrogate clip here. This is more just the image of embedded data inside your PNG. You have it, your work with the checkpoints as well. Train additional models, settings global for all of the parameters you have it in install it and included our extensions. So you can see right here this time what extensions we do have it install it. Um, this is pre default. I don't see control net installed this time. So maybe you need to install by yourself, but it should actually uh, hold control net globally if you're going through our own st stability matrix. But just general, keep it in mind that check specific version that you're going to run what they have here. Okay, and right here we run test with our model preloaded. And here you can see it's all working in this case. So let's go ahead to our next model. We'll say again, stop this time. Just let you know when you first time launching any of the package, it may take a little bit time to preload. Like right here, we'll clone and preload some um, additional packages. But nice things about this, if those packages is shareable, they won't preload it next time. So let's go next package. And we're going with our focus. I don't know how you properly said that. And here our focus is in work. You can see it's performing um, two sampling for the steps. Actually, it performed very nice job. Overall, I will say this is interface seems like going for the simplicity of creation. Of course, if you're going with the advanced options, you can see right here, you have your styles, models and additional options. They're not overwhelmed like in another ones. And I think that is a point of this specifically. It's just going with the simplicity of generating image without overwhelm and handle a lot of stuff on the background of this creation.
So let's go ahead next. We'll stop now this model and we'll go back to our um, packages right here. Our packages we used focus, which is very simple. Let's go with a Volta ML. So again, we're going to launch this and I think this one I'm running first time. So this is maybe requires some. Yep, right here you can see it's it requires some installations as well. And just in case if some feel like it's stuck, what I like to do, I go usually to my monitor task manager right here and just watching for my network. And I can see right here it's still uploading. Um, so there you go. It seems like it's done uploading at this time. And right here we can see it start another upload. So just keep an eye on your resources. Be sure it's does not weirdly stuck somewhere. And here is our Volta. So we still needed preloaded models. So notice right there we have it kind of a little bit different ones. So we needed to look on a pathways located, but same similar things. We'll have it prompt, negative prompt. We have it our assemblers. Um, already kind of preloaded. This is one going from shared folders that preloaded before your width step. Very similar interface like other ones. We have it our text to image, our image to image, image processing. The tagger, it's kind of similar to our image where we can drop in and analyzing. We have it, image browsers, different models accessing. Um, all of them very similar what we have before the benefits of some it's how the cleaner or what interface you prefer as well we'll see in the future how they will grow up or they will creating anything more to this okay so let's go ahead and stop this once and we're going to now let me expand so we can preview our packages and this is will be walter so the our focus control net it's a similar what we have with focus only it's embedded control net model inside so that will be something similar but it's run a little bit different but they separated so it can look a little bit uh, on a simple method without overwhelm i think in walk there another one's very interesting model and actually i have a separate installation with this because how the interface work and here is our invoke. Personally, I do like interface in a way when I start working with the image, like adjusting inside the repainting, masking inside the image. It's done very well as this. Notice it's have it also work with a canvas, nice painting tools. It You can do kind of similar inside the um, interface with the automatic 1111 but it's not comparison to this so this is more feel like painting tool more like a um with image with masking painting in or out painting or in painting all this stuff so this is interface it's definitely more remind you creativity painting tool and this is the reason probably why i like in work it's in it's kind of remind me this and also like leonardo ai if you use online tools you will find something similarity reminding to this so if you're more in this style more in a style used as a brush to painting your areas where you want to create render or where you want to in painting apply or masking so you probably find this tool it's more intuitive and easy to use so this is the reason i do like in work ai because of that specific properties but on minus side, it is again, it's a limitations because you have this interface, you have it all these other abilities. You don't have this little bit more extensive or working with a deeper code that you may have it in another ones, like, for example, with Comfy or with Automatic 1111. The Cohere is very interesting um, package or installation. It's very, very light. What I was meaning, it's a very fast launch does not have a lot of overhead but it's reason because it's work only with nvidia so it won't work if you have a cpu if you have md or other things so it's required in the CUDA drivers because of that it's loading very fast and it's also performing quite a bit faster so you remove all this overhead of stuff notice we have it our dream booth for trainings lora texture inversion fine tuning utilities so similar uh kind of to some portion of thematic 1111 where you find where you can always create 
uh, specifically we train your models based on other stuff but again because it is just work with nvidia only it's work faster but that is a limitation and here we have it our another focus with mre so it's using image to image more image processing again it's going by modularize and simplify as well when you first go and install this it will download it a um, lot of requirement sdxl model so it will work with all of this be sure you have it enough bandwidth or you kind of expecting this an initial download on this and this is again modularized i kind of interesting like some this approach then focus have it on this because if we look right there in our packages you notice it's have it one like this focus it's have it another ones with a control net and separate just uh, for the model so you'll have this light modulars kind of downloading um, launching which is much less used on the memory so it's more optimized for those who have smaller video cards or you want to kind of more focus and optimize your work so next we also have sd web ui master type release similar what do we have at web ui here and of course we have our stable diffusion web ui this is look a little bit different so let's go ahead and launch we kind of won't launch this master because it's just different revision of this one and let me go ahead inside our interface okay so actually on the launch and we'll just go ahead and stop our process let's go into packages and we'll launch one more and of course if you're all bored from launching all of these different packages remember you have a built-in interface they can utilize here as well so in some cases it's very nice and handy you can launch just one stable matrix working here and if you want to extend with all different packages and everything you definitely can go and experiment around this okay let's go ahead and launch this one now and here we have it another interface for our stable diffusion again if you like it this kind of layout it's more icon orientated a little bit cleaner ui in some cases but it's still covered power of i think a level of thematic 11 11 if we're going of course we have it our and up here we have a text image to image extras where you can upscale and do similar things like what you do with the um, nftmatic your models training all similar as well you have it on the side options to work necessary with the all settings with your models preloaded if you needed to do some information on the model information on the image or other things so almost all of these interfaces they have some pluses they have it minuses depend which one you prefer it is play around i will personally i will probably put it the three primarily in my cases it is one definitely stable diffusion automatic 11 11 which i like it comfy ui for the nodes which is if you're not very comfortable with nodes it's kind of okay to start but it you find soon how it's powerful because a lot of um, application move towards nodes it's more visual and nice and of course in work i like for the working with a specifically image with retouching almost with ai doing this stuff however when i start playing a little bit more with the focus i kind of like the approach of taking modularize depend on what task you're working so it's kind of nice as well you have it a light model for the training with your cohere and stable diffusion with uh, this kind of different almost like invoke merge with this i don't know it's kind of like this looking so it's always different application and working and of course has this one extra build inside the stable matrix so we can go ahead and try play around hopefully this is very fast overview well relatively fast because we already took so much time but it's helping kind of to look around and i do encourage go install it stay build ma matrix it's very easy installed again links down below to check for you and just explore by yourself see what you find let me know which one you like it if you have it, some other ones that i don't know yet exist please let me know put it in the comments share with what you find what other things you you find the useful in your case well thanks for watching have a great day bye